Good composed play again. Mackey and McGinn combining. Falkirk forcing everyone forward. Donaldson through the lines. Allegria chance to shoot. And that's a great block from McKenna. Content to go back and start again. Good movement off the ball from Oliver. Finding the space. A terrific ball. Can Yeats catch it? Yes, he can. Nesbitt takes it down. Well, looks like just stayed out the net and no more. Have a look at that again. The header from Nesbitt clatters the bar, clatters off the keeper, and then down and out. There's a good knockdown. Falls for Payton. Chance for Payton to shoot. That chance blocked. Ball still alive. Riley looks for the layoff. McKechnie up in support. Pressured though by McCann and Morrison. Long throw in. Headed away by Mackey to the back post. Ewan East gives chase. Yeats holds him up a bit but flighted in. A nice easy one for Hogarth to take. Falkirk tried to go on the counter. Allegria plays in Morrison. Morrison with the shot. What a hit from Callum Morrison. Falkirk with the early lead. Allegria plays in Falkirk's number seven. And an absolute rocket puts Falkirk in the lead. Falkirk one, Queen of the South Mill. Falkirk on the attack again, McGuffey, wide to McCann, he's got Nesbitt up in support, does find him, decent cross in, McGuffey takes it down, needs a layoff, oh, well defended though, McGuffey being crowded out, Falkirk steal the ball back, managed to keep Queen's penned in, McGinn, oh cute little chip to Allegria, chance to score! Well, Allegria has the ball in the net. Unfortunately, the flag on the far side has gone up. I have to say, good movement off the ball from Oliver again. I was starting to talk about that just before the opening goal, but we'll come back to it in a second as Morrison finds McGuffey into Morrison again. Oh, good play. Shot. And this time, no power behind it. Max. We have four in the box. Now five as Kieran McKenna adds even more height. Three lurking on the edge. Good delivery. Just over the top from the former Bairn. A good delivery in. Looking at it again. The number 12. Yeah, he just out jumped Craig McGuffey. And thankfully for Falkirk. Just over the bar from Kieran McKenna. Right, number nine. But so far, I have to say, is. His movement as a, a second striker has been very, very good. Something that Falkirk fans will be keen to see how he does over the coming months as Allegria gives chase. Juan Allegria clean through the shot and Juan Allegria doubles the advantage. The Colombian is off the mark for the Bairns. Second time lucky. Denied offside by the offside flag earlier in the match. Well, no such problem this time. Falkirk 2, Queen of the South nil. Riley just grabbing a, a handful of Stephen McGinn's shirt, but referee Cook lets play go on as Allegria holds off Mackay. Now doing well to hold off Ewan East as well. Inside to Oliver. Oliver with a shot. Well, not far away. Gary Oliver cuts inside onto his weaker left foot, has a pop. Max Curry, you can see him screaming at his defence. Allegria's layoff. Can't find Yates. Falkirk do steal possession back. They'll try a long diagonal for Morrison, who's all on his own. Allegria heads to the middle. Morrison goes one way, then the other. Now McGuffey with the shot. Not far away at all. Morrison just waited and waited for support. Laid it into McGuffey. And the first time left foot effort. 
I just wonder, are they going to come on? But we'll see as it falls kindly. And a penalty awarded. Well, out of nothing. Soft header down. And it's the leg from Sean Mackey. He puts his head in his hands. He can't believe it. Looking at it there. There has been contact. I think he's just frustrated, but steps up. Hogarth goes the wrong way. And suddenly, Queens have a lifeline. McCrory flights up into the Falkirk box. McGinn wins the first header. Falkirk could have let that one go. And Burrell tried the spectacular step over, given but the, away. And that's a great save by Hogarth. Big, big save by the Falkirk keeper. Connolly jinks one way, then the other at the curling effort. And that was bound for the bottom corner of the net. Kieran McKenna just giving some instructions to Peyton in terms of where he wants him for this flick on. McKenna winds up the long throw. Finds Peyton, takes down the shot. And it's side netting. Curry takes that one early, watched by McCann. Burrell into Morrison. Can he work the angle, the shot? Well, a much relieved Max Curry. Good ball from Burrell into Morrison. Did everything right, unfortunately, just the the finish. Nesbitt plays the short corner this time. Unlucky with Nesbitt and Morrison. Good delivery from Morrison. The header just wide of the post. So close to number three for Falkirk. Great delivery by Cal Morrison. The diving header, just beyond, keeps possession, just slows things down, lets Falkirk hold it in the final third. It's exactly what they need to be doing for the final 10 minutes of this match, just start to, to manage the game, play it in the Queen's half if they can, just slow things down. Good reverse from Nesbitt to Yates. Peyton tightly on him though. Nesbitt opts to go back wide. Good delivery. Lull! And what a finish from Lull! The diving header, absolutely clinical. His first goal for the Bairns. All of the Wall with the diving header after 81 minutes. Falkirk 3, Queen of the South 1. And I tell you, three brilliant goals from the Bairns today. can't help but feel Falkirk were struggling last year and at times under such pressure from Queen's as a Burrell taken down by Mackay he could be in real trouble the last man and it is a red card well you've got to feel sorry for the big centre half I think he's been done by the bounce of the ball he's lunged across trying to make a last man tackle great pace through the middle from Falkirk and unfortunately, it's an early bath for Paul Mackay. Standing over this, Falkirk. Fancying a pop for a fourth. It's Henderson. Not far away at all from the big man. Well, two steps up. In the left foot curling effort. It's a yard over the bar, I think, to be fair. In fact, Barry Cook says, enough is enough. Boos from the Queen's fans to our left. And raucous applause from the home fans. Performance by Falkirk in the first 45. They established a well-deserved two-goal lead.